Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, in which we're playing as Lannis' cohort. But let us begin with a unique focus, and then we'll talk about the National Spirits. The Hero of the East, Lannis was sent east by Kaiser to subdue the wild Colorado and the Brotherhood of Texas. But who was Lannis? How did he join the Legion? We have the National Spirits, the Cult of Mars, Rejection of automation, as well as mustering cohort, which is good and bad at the same time, especially for supply consumption. Plus 15% is not very good, but the beast of the east has arrived. Lanius was the greatest warrior of the Hydebarks, one of the greatest foes the legions faced. Or was he born a slave whose true talents let him become a legionary at the age of 12? Is it true that he slaughtered all the males of his tribe, or were they assimilated into the legion? Only Kaiser and Lanius know for sure, but they aren't talking. What is undeniable is that Lanius is among the greatest leaders of the legion. Some call him a savage brute, but there are many more to the man behind the mask that they know. I really wonder if the devs were able to use this image, because this is uh, deviant art. Oh, is that the artist down there in the bottom left? Anyways, he is a natural leader of men. Oh, charismatic. Some are born lucky. Lanius was lucky to be born. Did his mom want an abortion or something? He moves like the wind. Some wonder whether he is smarter than Kaiser himself. Intelligent. Actually, hold on. Actually, I, I like this. This is like our lucky traits here. Uh, we have F F Centurion Flabius here. <laughs> Very flabby. Uh, we also have Centurion Nicodemus. But let's take a look. So, what I would like for, even though he's a commanding officer... I love inspiration. If it would be charismatic, that'd be good. So I'd probably go with that one. Lucky is not bad. You get more attack, which is not bad. Agile is... Oh, it's right above there. And agile is okay. And intelligent is also... Well, this guy's intelligent. Not bad, but we want to go with a natural leader of men. Followed up with the Legates cohort. Lannis was sent east with an army. But who did he bring with him? As you can see, we're using the State Chancellor Tool Mod, Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, as well as player-led peace conferences. Swift, honest, purchased with blood. The Legion's resources are vast, but not infinite. Lanius had to choose who to bring with him to the east. Some said the strongest, skilled with firearms. Some said a horde of fanatics, ready to kill and be killed. And some said the swiftest, but the decision was Lanius's alone. A well-equipped expedition, five locked cohorts, and he get basic ballistic weaponry, okay? With demo and recon support. The chariots thunder across the plains, scrap motorcycles, scrapped or salvaged motorcycles. Or the survivors will gain skill of pure infantry. Ooh, actually, I wanted to use just melee, but you know what? If we're not using just melee? Huh. Hmm. Maybe eventually we'll take rid of that. Uh, Castra Sol Rubrum. Albuquerque was once a sleepy town along the banks of the, Colorado, the Rio Grande. Not the Colorado, but the Rio Grande. But that changed when Lanius moved in. Well equipped. Ooh, do we want basic weaponry? I mean, that'd be nice. I don't have to get that one yet, but... Uh, technology. Motorcycles. I've yet to use chariots in a campaign. They're not bad, they're just... I'm going to go asymmetric warfare, so it doesn't make sense to go down that way, really. So, five locked cohorts. Oh, I don't like that locked cohort thing. They'll, they'll be okay cohorts, they just won't be great. Ooh, ballistics. Yeah, might as well get the technology. You might as well grab it, right? The first guard, so these guys... 12, uh, that's not bad, that's not bad. Yeah, that's definitely not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh, he's ferocious loyalty. I like that one. I like that quite a bit. Oh, you could be the commanding officer. Oh. Oh, maybe we'll make Centurion then. Oh, or Lanius. He's Mr. Spec. Of forging a vast razor shop scythe. When Lanius occupied Bernalillo, he had to decide what to do with its inhabitants. A town was home to dissolute band of slavers, fat on profit. The prolificates fell quickly before the swords and guns of the Legion, but Lanius had to decide the fate of the survivors. The Legion can always use more slaves. We love slaves here. They can prove their worth on the battlefield, confiscate their wealth. Money? Do we have slavery allowed? Now, that doesn't make any sense. We can. I mean. I, I, don't get me wrong, I love slaves, don't quote me on that, but we have slavery outlawed, what the heck, and this is on historical too, man, what the heck, confiscate their wealth, uh, I guess manpower, yeah, manpower would be pretty good, how much money do we have, uh, we'll grab the money because we can, I guess, why not, the Lambda tribe, the Lambda were the first tribe on the east to fall, but they will not be the last, first to fall, not last one, beast in the east, look at that, hire the Iron Alliance, okay, okay, two legionary units in Castrum Saltus, and then this one's go west. Ooh. 
Nice. But woe to the vanquished. The Lambda tribe of New Mexico were enslaved without mercy, much like the Hyde Barks were. To show his victory, Lanius named their chief village the Staging Grounds. As, a, as for the tribe itself, behold more slaves, which... Apparently, I, I think I heard about this, but like at the time of this recording, like, slavery was somewhat removed from the, the mod or something? Or maybe it's not removed, but it's been toned down. I don't know. It might get reworked sometime. They were taught the virtues of Industria. I like that. They join the Legion's ranks. As much as I love doing that, I do not like locked divisions at all. So, the virtue of industry. So, what do you do? The hides, memories of hide barks, the change of seasons. Now, who's below us here? Because I just want to. I just want to. I don't want to say I want to kill a lot of people, but I just want to kill like a lot of our enemies. <laughs> I better watch what I say sometimes. Uh, ceasing the chanting. If you watch the skies, you'll miss the ground. Yes. The town of Roswell is populated by a pre-war group that claims they saved the Earth from demons from the stairs. But if they're so powerful, why do they rule a single town? Yeah, I'll go do that too. Why not? And we might as well start reading the next one because it's only a 30-day focus, which is fun with me. Reviving the markets. Not bad. Scavenging the solar panels. The class is Ori Orientalis. The Mother in Intervention. Open the coal mines. Open palm. Colonia. Well, we're probably... Who's below these guys, then? Mescalero Nation? Oh, we can do this one too. We get the core everything. That's so strong. The cult has fallen. And while survivors prophecy doom at the hands of the ones above, Lannis is ready. And perhaps we should do something with their equipment. And then we'll do cease the chanting. The monks of Santa Fe recite their chants to the dead god from a dead world. What do, what need have we for their songs? Oh, and hopefully this isn't not too bad for us. Do we have any planes? I kind of doubt it. Yeah, we don't have any... I'm, I'm already researching gliders anyways, but still. I just want to go to war, man. I just want to kill these people. Which sounds really bad to be... Uh, never mind. Never mind. Nice. And we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm, too. So. Ah, oh, I love Lanius. What are we even fighting? Oh, militia. I think Imperius are soldiers. Okay. And we do have a militia division here, too, which kind of sucks. I'm probably going to make him a, a legionary, so... Combat language, not bad. And we got some gliders research. Not bad. Ohm's Law, not bad as well. Let's grab some tool, tool procurement. That'd be very good. Kill them off, please. Thank you. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Actually, oh, before we go there. Occupied territories like most times. West and pacification. As well as... They're not very close to dying. That sucks. Just kill them off if you can. That'd be good. One division at a time. Ah, beautiful. I don't know over there. Oh, he can up to... Well, he has 26. Look at that. 26. Wait. 26. Huh. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Max army size. He must have a max army size. I'm not used to that at all. Convert both to speculators. That'd be good. Do excess in this way. Get ready to go. Oh, we have some political power, maybe. Arms organizer, chief executive, uh, field medic, reconstructor. It's not bad. Traders. Oh, okay. actually, I kind of like trader too. Arrow breaker. Oh, more construction speed, factory repair, agriculture research speed, and resource procurement research speed. It's not bad. We have a lot of options here. Uh, West end economy. Well equipped army is probably the way to go. But what about this? Andrea Brixley, closing the chapter. Refined. We get refined warfare. Uh, we'll go with this one first. Rumitari Hadrian. Who was Hadrian in real life? Hmm. And industry planning, very good. Let's grab some work as needed. And we're going to go straight on in. There you go. That should be good. Ah, just I just want to conquer so much in this campaign. I might make this a full wasteland a conquest. Let me know in the comments below. Should I, Well, as far as we can make it. Should we try to make this as much of a wasteland conquest as possible? Please let me know at the time of this recording. Cease the chanting, you infidels. March on the Mascaero. Mascaero. The Mascaero are an old people led by a young woman. They have survived countless empires until now. Keep them in place so we can kill them off. Ah, oh, I love destroying enemies. Beautiful. No. Oh, they don't have enough divisions to guard their entire line. Oops, wrong group. We do have 15 divisions, which is pretty nice. Let's see. Um, We might be able to bust down here and take out that other division, so we'll do that. I want to enjoy the experience of destroying these enemies, even though we could be moving a little bit faster, but that's alright. Alright, go ahead and upgrade them at here, Castra. Thank you very much. Alright, time to move in. Ooh, 
Would you like to assist? Yes, thank you. Reference manuals are good. Now let's go ahead and grab some warrior training. Oh, we can actually see what's going on now. That's pretty nice. Help him out and have a sip of coffee. Not bad. Pretty good stuff. Ah, two divisions now. Good. Jolly good. Put them in their place. Ouroboros. Not bad. Help them out. Encircle, destroy, and completely 100% eliminate. Actually, you might just be able to just walk in there now and go there. So, see what you can do. Get them off. White Sands, that should be pretty good. Let them all go. Reclamation Authority, very good. Secret Language, nice. And a little bit ahead of time, let's grab some Construction Speed. Construction Basics. But with the change of seasons, Riley Morrison has managed to carve a precarious community out of the town of Fort Summers. With his conquest, our access to Texas will be secured. Oh, they wanted to do that, eh? Oh, that sucks. Well, these guys are completely in circle, but it matters not, my friends. A fresh stock of slaves. Through a conquest, the prolificates will earn the value of honest work and labor. And Lanius may keep some of the finest for himself. Uh, take a handful of slaves. And s slave resistors. Plunder. They do not deserve freedom. Legionnaires will be given specific targets and quotas for pillaging, scorching the earth for riches. Uh, take a handful of slaves. Plunder. Legionnaires do not take wealth for themselves. They take it for Kaiser and his will. And our new subjects have no rights but those we grant. How much shall we take as spoils of war? Kaiser is a just lord. We cannot skim, skin the Brahmin we milk. Woe to the vanquished. Hmm. He is a just lord. Restrict or pillaging? Heck with that. Woe to the vanquished. A desert or peace? Neither Lanius nor Kaiser wish to rule a pile of corpses. The Legion won't save mankind and forge a better world from the waste of the old. To do so, we can add our foes to our ranks. Or we can nail them to the cross to watch the world die. Fetch the timber. Opting to crucify enemy commanders brings glory and heightens morale for a time. The Legion welcomes you. Opting to recruit enemy commanders increases our might and magnanimity, but lowers morale for a time. Um, for this first group, I want to crucify enemies. Having chosen to crucify our enemies, we must decide how to crucify. Though some wastelanders may blanch at this much death, this is, is how we remind the world to obey the Legion. Make an example of a few commanders. Crucify half the officer corps. Crucify their families, too. We will anger the pubs greatly, but our hegemony will be undisputed where the crosses stand. Crucify the families. Oh, look at that. L lack decimation. Wow. Wow. Crucify even more. Jesus. Starting attack level of new commanders. That is brutal. I love it. Can we crucify some more? God, I'd be... I'd be a really too probably too excited of a Roman to do to do that, but whatever. All right, so these guys are twelve combat with. That's okay. We need more guns. Oh, actually, we have. Yeah, we really do need more guns. It was the Phoenix Republic. Good. We get a good amount of money. Um, anything else? Go west. That'd be kind of cool. Two procurements done. Thank you very much. Improvised tools. And after this one, we will go ahead and do Roswell that ends well. So, I guess technically we can go to war right now. Good. I guess just maybe walk right on in. Actually, you know what? Go around the pass. So we can cut off all, most of their supply. So that'd be kind of good. Where would the next capital be? Wingston? Guadalupe Park? Stonks? Very nice. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Money, money, money. And Roswell, that ends well. Did I read this already? The cult has fallen, and while survivors pro prophecy doom at the hands of the ones above, Lanius is ready, and perhaps we should do something with their equipment. We love cores. Screw it, let everyone go. Just go ahead. It doesn't really matter. It matters not. Oh, we got the pass. I, for I always forget that the pass is not... You don't start with the pass as Lanius. Just keep them at bay. Keep them there. Ah, and we got them. Just going to snipe all their uh, victory points. That's all I gotta do. Fresh stock of slaves. Uh, for this one, I think we'll just go with a handful of slaves as well. Plunder for these guys. If you'd like to read these again, please go right ahead. He's a just lord. We'll go with a just lord this time. Desert of Peace. Cool. Fetch the timber. Well, we, we crucified them last time. I could crucify everyone. Is there a little mechanic if you crucify everyone? Will that really be interesting? Hmm. That'd be really fun. 
We will welcome these groups then. The Sir the Legion. Lanius is not the first to swell fealty to, to us or to Christ, but to Kaiser. And why should the latest foes be different? Some of them fought honorably, and now they can serve Lanius as Lanius serves Kaiser. In this way, the glory of the eagle spreads across the world. Make an example of a few uh, commanders. A former enemy commander will serve Lanius and provide his expertise, but our military will make noise. Crucify half the officer corps. Give him army XP. Our new commander will bring troops to assimilate into our ranks, but our military will need time to adjust. Eh, I'll go that one. Why not? That's where we got that little uh, pair dropper image. I don't think any of the mods really affects that, but... Summer's Federation? Now, they're up here. Sa Santa Fe would probably be best to take out next. Good, good, good. Go invest some money in there, why not? All, uh, all's well that Roswell. If you like to read about the secret burger, please go right ahead. I hear he writes well. And the fate of Mescalero. The Mescalero survived the Spanish, the Texans, the Americans in the Great War, but they could not survive, it seems, Lanius. Which is a good thing. NCR declared one of the rapids. Very nice. Magics, Roswell cultists did not know why their tools and spells worked, but they knew how to use them. While they were prolificates, perhaps there was something of value in their temples? Strip the place for parts? Not bad. Well, you get plasma rifles. We can make new weapons of war. Aluminum? Oh. Nice. Well, like, aluminum is nice and all. We're going to probably have to strip the place because circuitry is a little bit more difficult to acquire sometimes. Right? No. Wait, hold on. I, You know, as much as I play Old World Blues, I don't ever remember. We can get water, uh, energy. And technically, we can make circuitry. Oh, actually, technically, no. We don't have settler's exploration tech. So we can't make it. So... I'm going to go with circuitry still. Look at that manpower. If you'd like to read about economic restrictions, please go right ahead. Great news. And let's go ahead and come crashing right on in. Go right ahead, soldiers. Construction basic. Legionary Purist. A skinwalker. Two sun emissary. Not bad. We'll probably go with the Purist. Just even more attack right now. And then fix our economy up, too. Organize agriculture. Very good. Go with some more of this. And then go with a lot more of that. And some of this. Capture the Warren. Goodbye, Warren. And if I did say it earlier, I think I did already, but we are using his we're on historical, so. We've lost nobody, we've killed two hundred. Not bad. Oh look at the ranchers. Nice. I will think I'll pick up calling manually as well, too, probably. Um I guess go that way. Mora? We haven't lost a single soldier yet. Good. Feeding the cohorts? Why not? That's on for the front. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. With the resources of New Mexico under Lanius' control, he can divert slaves to rebuilding the old dams and aquifers that once allowed limited farming in the land. I think we'll go with Warspark because Warspark is pretty good. Rats, if you'd like to read about rats, please go right ahead. The fruits of victory. The Mescalero survived the Great War on the hot of the Mescal plant and quenched their thirst on the sweet fruit of the yucca tree under the burning sun. They prospered despite the Great War and its aftermath, forging a home in the wasteland. Now survivors tended their orchids under the eyes of the Legion and another in the line of their would-be conquerors, but Lannis would learn much from his foes. Even the Mascaro's former leader, Lozen, would admit he is not without wisdom. For the beasts from the East believe intimidation was the sincerest form of flattery. The Apache's nomadic ways will serve us well. Wiki up nomads. Cool. Less max factories and is able to get more construction speed and organization regain. We can learn much from the warriors. Better surrender limit, war support, and division defense of core territory. Mm. The max factories in say actually hurts. I don't like that, but building up stuff is probably really, really good. Surrender limit doesn't really mean too much to me. Division defense and core territory, we're going to be attacking a lot of territory that's not core territory, so wiki up the nomads. Nice. Another band of raiders. Ooh, the executives, that'd be kind of nice. The archdiocese has fallen. Glorious. A fresh stock of slaves? They do not deserve freedom. Well, let's do this one. Plunder. He's a just lord. We cannot skin the Brahmin we milk. Woe to the vanquished? Sure. A desert or peace. Fetch the timber? Uh, let's, the, the, wel the legion welcomes you. And a certain legion, make an example of a few commanders. Like, let's make an example of a few commanders this time. We actually have a thing here. Wow. Look at that. Cutter holes. Long boats. I don't remember naval tech. Cutter holes are pretty good. Cutter holes and trireams. I 
I'm not going to make any, though. Probably. Probably. We'll see. There we go. Good. Up next, it's time for another one. Fault summons. Oh, actually. Yeah, Summoner's Federation. Which I think there is a sub mod that gives them a unique focus tree, but I'll have to wait and see about that one. Knowledge of a new tribe? After our conquest of the Archdiocese, our scouts have been contacted by a member of the Scorpion's Bite. They claim to have knowledge of a tribe hidden in the valleys to the north, filled with pre war technology, protected by robots, and led by a physical goddess in the wasteland. A goddess known as Diana, the Mother Moon, a deity whom speaks to them through shamans and speakers. Perhaps it's worth an investigation? Most likely, yes. We definitely need more support coming in. Wow. The moon looked down on me. When we arrived, the tribe's advanced technology, automated defenders, and marvelous irrigation system weren't even the most amazing thing. It was her, the woman shamans led us to, Diana, a beautiful, terrifying figure, larger than any creature in the white sound with a majestic voice that carried through the chamber effortlessly. Just seeing her could scare someone into faith and submission, the feeling of standing before a true god. Thankfully, Lanius is not an ordinary man and would not kneel. The two would discuss matters of philosophy, religion, and the future of the wasteland itself for hours. It was an interesting discussion. The twin mothers will unlock a series of focuses in regards to how to deal with our meeting, whether they will try to give us tribute to avoid conquest, fight back against us, or, or our influence, or even try to work alongside us. It'll be interesting to see what they choose. Good. Oh, actually, if we go there first, we can encircle that one division. Yep, we did, and they're dead. And they won't be dead, so. Good, 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 good. A little bit ahead of time there. Still vehicles we could focus on. Maybe a little bit tribal stuff. We're going to go with tribal stuff. Less caps income, but less, way less caps expenses and more pass caps. Work as needed, my friends. Work as needed. Woodworking, thank you. Ah, very good. Unleash. Lanius' hold. Fate of the Monks. As the monks sat by the waters of Pecos and wept, a new fate awaited them, but the monks were not fated to be slaves. Just head on down there, my friends. We do have a few plans. We lost two guys. Not bad, not bad. And they're gone. Easy. And then when he plays them, it's not going to be easy. Uh, take a handful of slaves. Just Lord. He is a Just Lord. Desert Peace, Fetch a Timber. The Legion welcomes you. And then crucify half the Obstacore. There you go. And then what we'll do is secure the Eastern Bank. With the destruction of the Summers Federation, we can cement our control of the Eastern Bank. And actually, we might just do another Band of Raiders first, though. The executives think they're all that with their metal armor, but we've seen their symbol before scattered across the wastes. What hope can they have when it's a sign of disillusion and decay? Executives, your days are numbered. Heavily numbered. Nice. They're actually learning quite a bit. Uh, we're still out of equipment here, but we're slowly making more support equipment, which is pretty good, actually. You can lower by three, maybe, because we do need more support equipment. Improvised tools are very nice. Let's see. A little bit ahead of time. We'll grab some... I eh, don't really need that, actually. Plane stuff? Oh, we don't. We cannot get motorized flight. That is not going to be good for us, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. Go and get some more research speed. Yeah, let's go over here. Welcome to Army. Thank you. Fate of the Monks. Turning the page, we'll do another band of raiders so we can go to war as well. The monasteries of Santa Fe have fallen. The bones of Leibovitz are ash. And yet there is a lot of learning in this place. Hallowed tombs which are studying. Worth studying. The monks have hoarded not just the words of their dead god, but books on crafting, healing, and more. And even their scavengings or scrivenings of a carpenter and another kaiser may be worth studying. How can one be a fisherman of men? Let the monks serve the legion. Oh, that is good. That is really good. Fiat voluntas tua. The memorabilia. Um, honestly, it really doesn't matter to me, but we'll go with this one. Nice. Cool. We got some more money, which is nice. Uses and secure package. How's compliance coming? Doesn't really matter. And then after this one, we will go ahead and do secure the Eastern Bank as well. Because we want some cores, right? Right. Uh, we need an airbase, actually. That'd probably be actually good to build right here, just because we will eventually go to war with Texas. Like, that's one of our main goals. So, let's see if actually Lone Star falls. Ooh, that's not good, man. If they could hurry up here, 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 and there, they might still be able to win, but it's not looking good for Lone Star. Oh, they did good. That's not bad. No, 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 that's not bad. We'll have to wait and see. Secure the Eastern Bank. The Cheese Factory. That's kind of cool. 
I do not want to waste much time. We must go immediately in. Do they not attack us? Why not? Alright, so you guys can just go right here. Take all but one, go right there. And we're going to circle two divisions first. Good. Plans winner would be nice, but encircling two divisions is probably the best idea. Ah. Come on. Good. Good. Come on, get over there, get over there, get over there. Nice. Very, very good. Frogmen, huh? Are those just French people? Or the Dane... D Denmark's special forces. Actually, you might actually be able to bust through here. Then again, we gotta improve our soldiers, because our soldiers right now aren't very good. Oh, they actually have some robots. We're gonna need some anti-tank. Um, do that, and basically do the same thing, maybe. Albeit with fewer soldiers this time. Please don't march into that way there. That'd be the big dummy step. Nice. Keep one guy there. There you go. Good. Encircle and destroy. Yeah, after this, we're going to make our divisions bigger. Nice. We should do relatively okay here. Go and help out down there. And we should go up with next. Execute slaves. Ooh. The cheese factory, the Today New Mexico. We need to finish off the executives. Oh, let's go with memories of the Hydebarks. The Hydebarks were one of Kaiser's greatest challenges in Arizona. Landis can incorporate some of their traditions into the Legion today. So, trying to fight down there, that's fine. Just go for planes runners. Keep them in their place. And circle destroy. Leave none alive. For now. Seed selection is very nice. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of town. Let's go and grab this one. Local workspaces. More divisions. Sign us up. Go right ahead. Monahams, huh? Not bad. Organized military society, not bad. Pretty good. Just go right ahead. No worries. And, oh, look at this. Construction speed. More defense, less research speed. More attack, less research speed. I like this. More piercing. <laughs> Thumbs up. Anti-aircraft projector. Nice. Uh, let's go with this one, though. Infrastructure standardization. Ooh, can I not... Oh, you guys are only 8 combat with. Oh, that's not good. Well, at least make it 10 combat with at the very minimum. Do we have... Ooh, yeah, there's this stuff. Oh, you don't show it. There we go. We do have some dynamite, so actually... We do have enough to throw dynamite on here, too. There you go. Am I doing my land auction? I don't think I am yet. That's a big mistake. Don't worry about that. Help him out. Help him out. As you can tell, I'm not too worried about losing manpower right now. We've got enough soldiers doing well enough. Alright, what else do we have here? Uh, nope. Don't really care about that stuff. Oh, look at all this stuff. Completed a lot of focuses for all this stuff. Um, yeah, this is not too bad. Daily compliance gain, losing Colorados. That's really, really good, actually. Plus 0.2%. Ooh, what do we have here? Legion work gangs? Ooh, Spoilia Opima? Not bad. Navajo, Navajo Silversmiths would be pretty nice. Um, I want to use unique things. I like all three, so maybe we'll wait? Hmm, we'll, oh, we probably can't use that one, though. More resistance, though. Hmm. I guess for now... Get more PP. We can only get now. 1.33, which is not bad. Followers of the Apocalypse. I don't think we really should keep these, so... No. Uh, placate them? No. Divert the supplies. Only uh, used. Raid and seize a fort. Through bribes and threats, we can do that? Good. Followers are established in a year. Wow. That's a long time, not gonna lie. 
We've only lost less than 200, so that's not too bad. Thank you, executives. Beautiful. And they do not deserve freedom. Woe to the vanquished. Fetch the timber. Crucify all of them? So be it. The followers rejected. Having worked out that we've been behind successive attempts to undermine their influence and steal their supplies, the followers of the apocalypse have finally grown tired of our antics and left our lands. Whilst they're so happy to attend to our civilians in the bases set up around the border, they refuse to step inside our nation in protest. We say good riddance. The anarchist kind have no business here except for attempting to overthrow us. Our people are somewhat annoyed at our choice of action, but at least they'll no longer be swayed by follower propaganda. Not in this campaign. Maybe next one, but not this one. Good. Who is next? Who is next? Resistors. Today, New Mexico. Yes. Almost overnight, Lanius has doubled the size of the Legion. The tribute for Flagstaff flows without him, and the impressive mask sets its sight on new conquests. Look on his works and despair. So we lose the weekly manpower, which is fine. Get more max entrenchment, get even less caps. Uh, like I see the butcher, color it red. Oh, you get a 50% reduction in coring costs in the states of Colorado, but you need to conquer them first. Good. Good. Good day, New Mexico. Oh, I can't wait to beat the crap out of the dogs, which sounds really bad out of context, but whatever. We have 7 Omni XP. I don't want to mostly use this template because it's already 12 combat with, so I'll go and do that one. I don't like his gods. Now, this one is 8 combat width, but it does have logistics and, and recon, but that's fine for now. Frumentari is okay. Probably won't really need him, though. Praetorian guards? Yeah, they're not bad. They're just not great. In the meantime, go ahead and train our soldiers. They need training. Lanius, what do you have for us? Oh, you've got a lot. Uh, Rudy would be pretty good. Strong back is a nice pain chain. No power armor here, so savage leader. Additionally, observant leader, less speed, more reconnaissance. That's not bad. Tough leader? Yeah, he's got to be tough. Smooth talker, division, recovery rate. Out to supply a beloved leader, less defense. Um, hmm. Infantry, attack, and defense. We'll, we'll mostly be using infantry for the most part, so. That does make some more sense to do that one. Centurion Flavius. Organization loss. Uh, you are guarding special forces. So, they're not, special forces are not infantry, so we're not going to do that one. Go rooted, though. And Centurion Nicodemus. Alright, he's a, he has ferocious loyalty. Land out attack would be pretty good, but let's go with Rooted. Just in case for defense. Land out attack would be good. Division attack and defense. Uh, awareness, because we, we will throw recon on all our divisions for this campaign, I think. That'd be kind of nice. Curse with knowledge. Peter Van Dorn. I want to go with this one. That's really good. More compliance game. After that, color it red. Weapons of the past. A lumber mill. City takes shape. Create an intelligence agency. That's kind of cool. Oh, indentured servitude. The slave market of Taos. That's kind of cool. Why not? Scavenging efforts? We shall. The ho land of Hoss Desire. Before the war, some called New Mexico the land of enchantment. But Landis thought of it by an older name. Landis learned to fight and conquer in Arizona, but it was in New Mexico he learned to rule. It was not enough to crush an enemy in battle. Lanius learned what came after. Butchering a town would leave no one to feed the legion, and slaves could not glory in his conquest. To that end, Lanius took the collar from Colorado's neck and let the executive's craftsmen forge new guns for the cohort, and over time, the thoughts behind the mask began to change. Building like conquest has it a pleasure of its own, for the glory of the legion, but that cannot happen if they still resist. Plus, upon the cross, holy crap, plus 25% political power gain, 5% more division organization, which is not bad. But then, minus 50% damage to garrisons? I love building. Don't get me wrong. For the glory of the Legion, but upon the cross, we're going to hoist them up nice and high. This stuff is all nice. Ooh, get Centurions. How do you use Centurions? Color it red, though. Colorado is aptly named, for it will be the Legion's next conquest. The Frumentari tell of dogmen, a brotherhood, and even a god. How great will the glory be when they all lie prostate at our feet? Ah. <sighs> My goodness, I love it. He's a war manga, and we love the war manga. Oh, we get almost two political power a day. Holy crap, that is that is ridiculously strong. Let us slay the sun. The sun dogs and the sun black dogs. Or black dogs? Black sun. 
The sun dogs and the black sun stand in our way. Let them learn that even the sun is but a reflection of the glory of the Legion. Oh, they will learn their place. The Siege of Hidden Valley? Goodbye, Hidden Valley. Smoke signals? We shall smoke them out. Deco signals? Yes, please. More divisions? Very good. Keep training, soldiers. And actually, we can only have so many soldiers at a time be due to money. Which is fine. Actually, cut them way down because I want to make our divisions better. Not bigger, but better. Well, maybe a little bit better. Maybe a little more. God dang it. Get over there. Uh, for now, you can become... No, you can't become that. Okay, there you go. Ambrose Johnston. Welcome. Basic tool is good. Oh. Upgrades. Inspirational. Good. So now we can make these guys even a little bit bigger. Stronger. Deco signals. Good. A little bit ahead of time for that. Let's go ahead and grab plant cultivation next. After clay working, we shall grab what? Slave collars. Nice. Stronger. Stronger divisions. Good. Color it red, my friends. And let us slay the sun. Man, the Legion does jumping jacks, huh? Alright. Economic advisors. Owns Black Sun, a fair goddess. A false goddess. Reconstructor. That actually would not be bad. Oh, let's go do that one, why not? Good. We got a lot of infrastructure to build up, man. Load the resources. Lanius, so far, too easy. And he's got some really good advisors, holy crud. But after that, Ban Smooch. The Butcher's Peace. The False Goddess. A false goddess. Well, oh yeah, why not? The Twin Mothers ultimately are just another tribe. To Lanius, this is irrefutable. No matter what he saw, these tribes cling to the superstitions and the protection of the divinity over the strength of their own blood. We need to show them a lesson. It is time to slay the dogs. Three, two, we're done waiting. Go. But we'll go this way. And circle and destroy. Very good. Help them out. Scavenging efforts. Replaced with integrated tribal elders. Tribal elders. Beautiful. And do we have a name for our guys? Sneaky dudes. Now, my friends, let me know in the comments below. What should we call Lanius's Legion? Something great, glorious, terrifying, menacing for our campaign. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think would be a good, fitting name for us? Starved Dog, I like that one. Nine Fingers, I don't want to lose defense. Organization War Support, eh, that one's okay. War Organization's pretty good too, though. Mm, arms Organizer, that's okay. We can't really do anything there. Well, outside, of, outside of Auxiliaries, even more Compliance game would be pretty good, but... Chief of the Navy, Flyboy, we're making fighters anyways. Might as well make them. Might as well. No worries. Good. We won't have too much advanced air power, but that's okay. That is a okay. Slave collars, and then how about a land auction? Forging. Jolly good. Actually, who can go to war with next? The black dogs? Black sun? I can't remember. So it's these guys next. Very good. Are they doing... They, I think they're doing last stand there. They might have been doing last stand for a while, actually. Sneaky dudes. That's definitely not a name fit enough for us, though. Look at that. Yeah, they're doing last stand. Look at that. They're I think they're doing last stand. Oh, they just died. They literally just died there. Uh, I wish I saw how many men we lost, but that's okay. Um, Because of their resistance to us, they do not deserve freedom. Woe to the vanquished. Fetch the timber. Make an example of a few of the commanders, though. Sometimes you do what you must. Good, good, good. 
And it looks like we could maybe use a thing of planes up here too. Very good. Plan cultivation is nice. Tribal stuff. More piercing, why not? And what are we missing? Anything we're missing too much of? Get more planes, of course. Ah, collars full of enemies. Mm, no one's okay. Experience loaded losses. Uh, I mean, that's okay. It's not great. I mean, we really don't need that. I'd probably rather take Auxiliary Valencia, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll just go start auxiliary, Auxiliaries. That's fine with me. Oh, this is an 80-day focus. I didn't really even realize that. After that... And the Brotherhood? Yes. The Brotherhood spreads across the wasteland like ticks. They do nothing but scavenger or scavenge for technology. Never dreaming, never doing. What is the purpose? The answer is clear. To die for our greater glory. Mm. Oh, more daily compliance? My gosh, having this, you know, was it the raider side here of the tree unlocked for us? Ridiculously strong. Even though we don't get some, some technologies, which is... Sucky, but whatever. We're doing really well. I wonder if we could just throw our guys in. Do we actually do that? We might actually be able to. Planes. Where are the planes? Oh, you're there. What, what? Why are you over there? I know we could get some guy up here too, though. Smash, smash. John Bernard. I like the counterintelligence. That's pretty good. Smash, smash. Oh, we can't see how many... Oh, that sucks. Ah, <sighs> no hope under the black sun. And after this, we're, we're going to need some anti-tank for these guys. I'm sure they do have some, a, a few divisions of power armor. That's not, not very many. Not very much. But I'm sure they have it. Ah, uh, take a handful. Oh, uh, well, this guy's... No, we're gonna... They do not deserve freedom. Woe to the vanquished. Fetch the timber. Everyone's gonna die there. I am... I'm, I'm ruthless, man. I am absolutely 100% ruthless. Sometimes. Sometimes ruthless. Look at that power armor there. That's not good. I'll send you guys over here then. And, uh... Yeah. Up next is some anti-tank. Uh, and the Brotherhood, my friends. But, before we do that... What if we went to paint the red rock? Or the rock red? While the Cherokee, Chickasaw, and Muskegee are not worth the cost of a conquest, painted rocket will serve as a valuable springboard for further expansion. Perhaps the lucky survivors will find salvation in their ranks, which actually makes sense to go to war with first, if anything, instead of these guys. And help thin their division, their defense, a little bit better, a little more as well. Cool. And then the beginning of the next episode, we will go to war with the Maxon chapter. God, we have so much PP. But we will have to spin our PP to core stuff. Eight is not bad. Not bad at all. Go and grab the outside battalions. Just make it easy for us. And then after that, we shall do weapons of the past. The training grounds. Not bad. Lanius gets an empty... Slot the training grounds. Landis can sense weakness in an army, <clears throat> including his own. We must train our corps' newest recruits up to the standards of the Legion, and if some of them may die, it is a sacrifice he is willing to make. And let's go grab some anti-tank now. That'll be super, super important. I do not believe these guys will be able to hold out against us whatsoever. Let's go. Died blood. What a shame. What a shame. Look at that. Beautiful. Just take out. Just take them out. Just, just smash the crap out of them. Painted rock, gone as they should be. But these guys took a handful of slaves. He's a just lord. Oh, let's get the Brahmin. Legion welcomes you and crucify half the obstacle. Very good. And which let's just read one more focus before we end this episode. Victory at the rock. Died in blood has lived up to his name as his people have all been but wiped out. But they fought well and the glorious battle brought glory to the Legion. Let the rest of Oklahoma quake and let us find a use for such fine foes. And let's go and do this. Oh, we actually do this immediately. Oh. Bomb, factory bomb vulnerability with looks like a death claw, deception tactics. Not bad. And let's at least click on the next one together. Victory at the rock. Cool. But if you enjoyed this camp this campaign, this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, it does help me out. 
Check out my Discord link if you haven't already in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we should continue expanding north into Colorado, and maybe even a little bit into Texas in the next video. Thanks for watching, have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.